this game has completely taken over the world. If you haven't heard about Pal World yet, then I don't know where you've been the last week because the internet is going absolutely insane over this game. In just a few days, it has become the most popular game in the world. Some people love it, obviously some people are going to hate it, but the question is, what is it about Pal World that has so many people in a frenzy? Well first, let me tell you exactly what it is. Pal World at its core is a game where you hunt, catch, train, and befriend creatures which you then use in battle against other creatures. Sound familiar? Yeah. That's probably because it's basically the same concept as Pokemon. So then if this is just a cheaper copy of Pokemon, then why is it number one on Steam right now as it's been for the past week? Because it's different. Yeah. Power World has all of these features that you will also find in the Pokemon franchise, but it brings along a completely new dynamic. It's a survival adventure game, similar to the likes of Ark or, or Minecraft, where you have to go and build your own base and find food and work for materials and craft your own items. So yeah, most would say that this, at its core, is just a mature Pokemon or a Pokemon with guns. And the biggest issue with this game right now is that people are pointing it out for being a one-for-one -one copy of Pokemon. Probably the biggest concern I've seen online is how Pal World has blatantly stolen some of its designs from the Pokemon franchise. And listen, I won't even argue against this. You can look it up yourself and you'll see that a lot of these creatures look way too similar for it to be a coincidence. But you will also see that people are reaching as far as they possibly can for reasons to hate on this game. Like for example, you look at this Luxray counterpart, which is probably the best example I've seen for this design issue. It does look insanely similar. But then you look at this other thunderous comparison and it looks nothing like it. It's completely different. And plus, it's based on Japanese mythology. Nintendo doesn't own Japanese mythology the same way it doesn't own some of these concepts. Most of these are based on real living beings or popular mythological creatures. But yes, it's silly to look at this and say they didn't take big amounts of inspiration for their designs. However, I personally don't think that's that big of an issue. On the other hand though, a bigger issue regarding this is that the game seems to have completely snatched models and proportions and meshes from the Pokemon company. And that is just robbery. There's nothing you can say to offend them if that is the case. Nintendo can just take the game down or sue them for however much they want. And guess what? This topic became so popular online that Nintendo actually did end up releasing a statement suggesting they're looking into these problems. I mean, you can clearly see here on this person's Twitter, with Luxray and its counterpart, how they completely fit each other's models perfectly. And then, and then Salazzle here as well. It's perfect, it looks like they've completely stolen everything, right? But then, we actually found out that the person who was spreading these images and these videos, and who was creating these threads, actually lied. Yeah, they were bullshitting us. They altered the models in ways that would make them fit their counterparts because they disliked the way you can attack and hit the pals yourself in, in Pal World. And I think this person here puts it nicely when he says, bro thinks he's the Batman of gaming, or this person saying that Pokemon basically does the exact same thing, yet the creator didn't do anything about Pokemon, but is doing about Pal World. Whatever, I, I don't get their logic, but this was their reasoning. So yeah, it was, it was a lie. They didn't actually, as far as we can tell, completely steal the models. Another small issue I saw people pointing out about the game is how it's glitchy or, or that it's buggy. The game is literally in early access. You load up the game and the first thing you see at the bottom is literally it saying version 0.0 whatever. Obviously there's going to be problems with the game that isn't completely finished yet, but I don't think that's worth digging into right now. I think a lot of people are mad because this indie company on a low budget working with literal middle schoolers managed to create a better and more unique Pokemon game than Pokemon and Nintendo themselves. And if you don't know what I meant by the middle schooler thing, I'm just going to play this Asmongold clip. 
budget of ten thousand dollars most models and gun stuff done by some middle schooler who was working part-time at a convenience store the developers went to all of that was taken from a japanese interview they did with the developers where they say they literally had no clue how to even use unreal engine and the senior developer had to teach them as they went along I mean, we're talking about a billion dollar franchise, literally one of the biggest franchises in the history of the world now and for the foreseeable future, and yet they're being completely outdone by middle schoolers. And this is not only regarding gameplay, we're talking about graphics and performance as well, where Game Freak was once again completely outdone. I mean, I played Sword and Shield, I played Scarlet and Violet, I played Legends Arceus, and now I see this game, and it's got me completely dumbfounded. They say right here one of these was made by a multi-billion dollar company, and it wasn't this one, it was this one. Or here, I mean, if you, if you Photoshop Mario out of this image and just stick him in this one, it legitimately fits right in. And yeah, I really hope that the surfacing of this game serves as a wake-up call not only for the Pokemon company, but also for the many lovers of the franchise. It should show them that they can do better, and they should be doing better, and that if we keep consuming the shit that they give us like maniacs, then they will keep serving us more and more of that same shit. Because they know it really does not matter what they put out there, because people will still play it. We have proof right here that the Pokemon concept works phenomenally and it can be so much more than it currently is. Pocket Pair gave us the best Pokemon game we've gotten in the last like 10 years for less than half the price. And a lot of people would say, the Switch is terrible, that's why the Pokemon games don't look good. That's true, very true, the Switch is a terrible modern day console. But Zelda did it with Breath of the Wild in 2017, and they did it again with Tears of the Kingdom last year. So if they can, why can't Game Freak? So do I think Palworld copied Pokemon? To an extent, yes, I do. Do I also think it's more fun than any Pokemon game in recent times? Also yes. And that's all that it needs to be. As long as it hasn't outright stolen from Nintendo, then I will be playing what I personally find more fun. And right now, that is Palworld. Anyways, thank you for watching, I enjoyed making this video, so I hope you enjoyed watching it.